Sheikh Aman, what do you think are the specific highlights of Muscat International Airport, um, whether it's retail, dining or other services? Well, as you know, we uh, just uh, shifted from uh, an old airport to a, a brand new airport six months ago. And actually today is the, uh, uh, the 20th of uh, September, is exactly the same day to complete six months from uh, you know, uh, transferring from the old airport to the new airport. The new airport is totally a different ball game. It, it actually offers lots of products and uh, uh, passengers are really happy. They're really you know, excited when they come to the duty free. They look at the varieties, they look at the brands, they actually you know, enjoy shopping. Uh, the the uh, uh, the ambience of uh, of the shopping, the the products, the way they are actually you know displayed. I mean, uh, we get lots of compliments uh, lately from uh, you know uh, uh, the brands that we hold, which are actually not even in the uh, main uh, market in the country. You're six months young, as you said. And um, what lessons have you learned in that period in terms of the commercial offer? I think. Uh, you know, uh, we uh, always need to uh, make uh, new products, new offers, uh, you know, uh, uh, do certain, uh, you know, uh, marketing schemes. Uh, I think when, whenever we, uh, you know, do such uh, thing, we attract lots of uh, customers. And, uh, and uh, the main thing is what we're working in, uh, along with the uh, duty-free, is to uh, process the passengers quickly so that they have more dwell time in the, uh, in the uh, uh, retail and food and beverage. So are you seeing a significant increase in the um, average transaction? Of course, of course. Uh, you know, we, we just, uh, you know, uh, 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 did just a small tweak in our, uh, you know, uh, processes and it really made a big difference and, and the sales have increased to uh, 20%. Passengers were going to their, uh, you know, gates uh, in, in the first uh, four months. Now they are staying in the main, uh, you know, central area, and they spend. Well, you've got a good dining offer as well. Actually, there's quite a robust offer yes. uh, in terms of the, the types and range of food and beverage yes. outlets. If you see in the airport, we have actually two sites. One is the, uh, you know, uh, fast food, uh, quick, uh, you know, lower cost. On the other side, it's fine dining and, and, and uh, you know, decent, uh, you know, uh, uh, food. And uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, you need always in the airports to offer all kinds of products for all kinds of uh, passengers that you have. How has this been received um, in the live facility <coughs> right now? I mean, what are the particular features that draw out um, the best of Oman? And uh, has the execution matched your original ideas? Hmm. Well, you see, the expectation was very high uh, from our passengers. And uh, what we did, and, and we have succeeded in, in, in uh, what we were uh, planning for, is uh, we've opened the, you know, certain shops for uh, uh, SMEs. And those SMEs are, are Omani, uh, you know, small and medium enterprises. They came. Uh, we were struggling with them to uh, to come up uh, with our standard because you know uh, SMEs are always you know uh, low spenders, but uh, we've actually uh, you know uh, made them uh, you know uh, uh, align with with our uh, product. We we made a benchmark to uh, you know spend uh, per square meter. They've spent and uh, and now they're uh, you know uh, they haven't regretted and they're they're really happy to be in in the airport. Uh, those SMEs are, are uh, giving, uh, you know, uh, those, uh, you know, products that are actually Omani products that, uh, you know, uh, represents Oman and, 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 uh, and lots of foreigners are actually buying from them. And uh, Duty Free is also, you know, putting a, a corner for, for Omani products. But in terms of the design of the airport, um, there are lots of Omani features that are built into the architectural structure. You can see them throughout the airport, whether it's the greenery outside, whether it's the, the, the wonderful kind of Omani design on the windows and so on, even on the top of the duty-free um, uh, ceilings that, mm. that you see the same thing. There's this feeling of space, um, and, and place throughout, uh, even in the check-in area. Mm. Um, 
it has a great environmental feel about it mm. uh, in terms of an airport. Well, I'll, I'll start with the uh, check-in counter area. If you go and see in the central area, we have palm trees. And, you know, uh, it, it represents... These are genuine uh, fake palm trees? Yeah, yeah, but they don't <laughs> grow, actually, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so the palm trees, and then, uh, you know, we go in, and as you just rightly said, we've echoed uh, an old souk in Matrah with the, with the uh, ceiling of, of uh, you know, the duty-free, uh, you know, shops. And we've uh, made it look like, you know, the ancient old uh, Omani souks. Uh, also, the, uh, the building has uh, three piers. Those piers are actually, you know, talking and, and communicating to the, uh, you know, to the uh, environment. Like uh, Pier A is facing the, uh, the sea and it is actually, you know, branded with uh, blue color in their walls and, and chairs. Pier uh, uh, B is uh, facing the desert and it, it, it's all uh, brown and, and the chairs are brown. And Pier C is, is facing the uh, you know, mountains and greenery and it is all green. So, so you know, the, the building is, is actually envisaged to the uh, climate and the culture of Oman. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that the airport certainly transmits um, a real sense um, of the country. And interestingly, um, the passenger numbers are, are evolving, they're increasing. Um, but I understand that um, your transfer passengers are now representing approximately 50% of total traffic here. Um, what's your vision for the airport for the next five years in terms of dealing that in, with that increasing uh, number of uh, transfer passengers and trying to build the airline base of the airport too. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, there is always, uh, you know, a market uh, for uh, OND, uh, you know, passengers coming to Oman and entering the country. And there is business for, uh, you know, the transfer and transit. <clears throat> what we're trying to do is actually to uh, make Muscat as a hub. Uh, and we have domestic flights coming to Muscat and then going international. So we have an international tran uh, domestic transfer to international and vice versa. And also we have international to international. We're, what what uh, we did actually, uh, you know, together with the national airline is to, uh, you know, uh, link east to west and vice versa. And uh, over there, I think we've uh, succeeded. Uh, the, uh, the uh, numbers are increasing. Uh, the uh, product that we are offering uh, now, uh, six months uh, ago until now, is, is making people buying the uh, uh, ticket of Omanir. Because, uh, you know, passengers now are very uh, intelligent. They look at the price, they look at the uh, dwell time on the ground, and the facilities of the airport. Uh, I'm sure, and, and I can uh, tell you this uh, by facts, that uh, uh, the sales of uh, the national airline tickets went increasingly up after the, uh, we got the new product, the airport. And, uh, you know, people always want to feel some space, want to have more variety of uh, food and beverage and, and uh, duty-free, and then they come to the airport. So it, it made a big difference between the old airport and the new airport. But what's the ticket for the airlines? Because they're the ones you're targeting. You're trying to um, obviously uh, deliver more intercontinental traffic. These are high spending passengers. You've got the Chinese in particular, mm. uh, Russians and so on. You actually have mapped out, haven't you, um, a clear objective, a, a, a plan to mm. nurture the development of your airlines yeah. coming through the airport. What, what we do actually, we have a dedicated team for airline marketing. And this team has the authority to give incentive schemes, to uh, give marketing uh, campaigns, to do lots of things to attract uh, airlines. And also, on the other hand, you know, as I told you earlier, that we need to actually give, you know, more time for passengers to dwell into the uh, duty free. So we make sure that, you know, we sit with the airlines and we uh, fix at least two hours gap between a flight to another so that, you know, those two hours we try to, you know, uh, catch the, uh, the uh, pocket of, of the passengers in a good way. Well, airlines need to have a reason to come here and it's always going to be about landing fees, operational uh, side, servicing, mm -hmm. um, whether they have support teams here and, and so on. Um, and I have to say that um, you tick all those boxes. Yeah. You appear to, so I mean, I yeah. wish you well in terms of yeah. uh, uh, nurturing Thank uh, you. your, Thank your you. growing airline base. Thank you. Um, the 
but it, so you see this as being more than just a regional hub, you see it as being an international hub. They're so taking on some big competition in the region. Uh, the competition is big. We have uh, three giant airlines uh, in the region. But I think we are uh, different in our offerings. You know, the offer that we give is, uh, you know, uh, first, uh, good price. Uh, secondly, uh, our, uh, uh, you know, airport offers, you know, very big uh, variety of, uh, you know, lounges. We have a hotel. We have a spa in the hotel. We have a swimming pool. We have... Uh, you know, uh, uh, lots of, uh, you know, uh, heritage in, in Oman if, if people are coming into the country. And I think uh, the product that, that we offer is totally different than, than uh, the other airlines that are in the region. I think uh, the, uh, uh, the region is, is, uh, uh, is, is coming to a, to a situation where uh, uh, airline marketing will be a big uh, player. Uh, what we do here in, in Oman airports, we try to, uh, you know, uh, leverage on different airlines. Because, you know, if, if you actually uh, leverage in, in just a national airline and, uh, God forbid, something happened to it, you know, you will be en ending up with, with a, a low, uh, you know, yes. profile of passengers. So we always try to balance between, uh, you know, uh, our offerings. We've talked about the Russians, we've talked about the Chinese, but where do you actually see passenger growth coming from? I see it uh, actually coming from Asia a lot nowadays, and uh, second is Europe. Uh, there is an untapped market in Africa where we're actually trying to target right now. Uh, you know, uh, airports, they do certain uh, tricks where they bring the high spending passengers to a gate next to high fashion, uh, you know, avenue or or, or or retail, and it really makes a difference. That's just good, sensible marketing. Yeah. It's just it, it does. the clustering there yes, makes yes. sense. It depends where do you stop the aircraft, and if it is uh, you know stopped next to a high end uh, you know fashion, uh, and and the spending uh, power is is strong. Believe me, uh, you know passengers, uh, you know would love to spend because you know they they are always conscious on time in the airports. When am I getting in? When am I getting out? And what is the, the, the comfort time that I have to, uh, to you know, go and do shopping? Are high-end boutiques on your shopping list? Oh, yes. And there is something coming uh, on the way, hopefully. One last question. Um, if there was, in one sentence, that you could say a, a defining quality to what the new airport represents, what would it be? People. People that uh, work here. They are very generous, they are very hospitable, they are uh, welcoming and our, uh, you know, uh, brand is people. Uh, I always tell my staff, I don't need to put you in any of the training courses. Just be Omanis and be yourself, like you're welcoming people in your houses, welcome them here in the airport. A good moment on which to end the interview. Sheikh Ayman, mm -hmm. thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thanks a lot.